A backpack sprayer is one of the best tools in your arsenal when it comes to creating an amazing lawn. They provide a lot of flexibility when it comes to applying anything from fertilizer and soil amendments to herbicides. Now, if you're using your sprayer as it came out of the box, that's pretty good, but things can definitely get better. In this video, we'll show how a simple $15 part can dramatically improve the results you get with your backpack sprayer and save time in the process. Let's get started. When you took your new backpack spray out of the box, it likely came with an assortment of various spray tips. Now, depending on the design, these tips range from the jet style tips that are ideal for spraying pesticides along, say, the edge of your home baseboard, to the fan style tips that are better for applications to grass, garden plants, or shrubs. Now, out of all the sprayer tips shown, the flat fan style tip is the one that's most commonly used on most home lawns. Now, because we all practically have the same goal, we want to get better performance out of any fertilizer or soil elements that we apply to our lawn or gardens, we're going to really focus on improving fan tip performance since that's what's most commonly used. Now, when it comes to applying products to your lawn, they really fall into two major categories. The first are products that are designed to get down into the soil in order to begin working properly. Usually this includes things like pre-emergent herbicides, fungicides, and certain types of fertilizer. Soil absorbed products work better when the sprayer droplet size is larger or coarser in size. This is because it makes it easier for that droplet to get down past the canopy and into the soil where it can begin working effectively. Larger droplets are much less likely to get blown away. The second category of products are ones that are designed for uptake by the plant's leaves. Another way of saying this is foliar absorption. Products in this category include carbon plant amendments, iron supplements, and certain types of fertilizer. These types of products work best when the droplet size is smaller. This is because a smaller droplet sticks to the plant leaves better, whereas a larger one is more likely to simply run off. Here you can see a side-by-side -side showing the differences between a larger droplet size and a smaller droplet size, as well as how much of the product stays on the plant leaf. Now to upgrade your sprayer, we're gonna swap out the standard tips that your sprayer came with for optimized versions from T-Jet that are gonna allow you to really cater that droplet size to the product type that you're applying. For soil applications, you'll swap out the nozzle your sprayer came with for the T-Jet AXR11004 VP. This is their air induction nozzle, which means that it draws air into the tip on both sides before spraying the product. This is done to help increase the size of the droplet the sprayer is putting out. Now for foliar applications, we'll go with the T-Jet XR11004 VS. This nozzle produces a much finer spray pattern, which is ideal for those foliar applications. Remember, all foliar means is that the product you're applying is absorbed through the plant's leaves instead of the root system. I'll have links in the description for everything you see mentioned in this video. Now, another bonus reason to swap out your standard tip for one of the T-Jet tips is that the spray pattern that these tips put out is much wider. Most standard spray patterns range anywhere from 25 to 60 degrees, where both the T-Jet nozzles put out a spray pattern that's 110 degrees. What this means is that you'll cover more area in each pass, which is definitely a big time saver. Now, swapping out your existing nozzle for a T-Jet nozzle is actually pretty easy. On most sprayers, start by unscrewing the end cap and remove the existing nozzle and O-ring. Next, we'll insert our T-Jet nozzle, we'll reinstall the O-ring that we just took out, and then screw it all back together. The entire process only takes a few seconds. Now while you're at it, be sure to also align the sprayer tip with the end of the wand to make sure the pattern goes out correctly. With your sprayer nozzle now upgraded, you're gonna get more even product applications, which is gonna translate into a greener lawn. Now, if you're really looking to optimize your sprayer applications even more, you should consider calibrating your new nozzle setup. To help with that, I put together a video right here that you can watch next that makes the process super simple. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.